if you cannot tell by today's title i will be doing a what is in my hospital bag video and a name release for <laughs> if it sounds like i'm whispering that is for two reasons both because one because i am as jay is up there sleeping and two because i'm a little bit sick i know the end of my pregnancy i get a cold it is not covid it's just i guess what you would call a seasonal cold or something like that but that's why i sound a little funny i got this cute bag that says mommy in from my baby shower um yes i had another baby shower and it was fun i will insert pictures somewhere i'll figure it out i'll insert pictures there gonna go ahead and get into what is inside this oversized bag bag looks a little stuffed like it's overflowing because it is overflowing i did have like a little duffel bag that i was using i was going to use as my bag but then i got this for my baby shower and i'm like no i'm using this bag this bag is too much it's too cute to not use it so i just stuffed everything in this bag the first thing that i have in my bag is my waist trainer because I want to get snatched again. I don't remember where I got this one from. Yes, I, I got this from Amazon. So, it comes with a zipper. It comes, oh, sorry, the clasp, the zipper, and then the Velcro part to snatch you in. That was the very first thing at the top of the bag. Next is these Always Discreet Boutique underwear. I wore these with SJ. They were very comfortable. Um, the hospital will give you underwear, but I like these better as opposed to, like, what the hospital gives you, they give you these, like, boy shorts, and then in the boy shorts goes the super long pad, and then goes, like, the cooling pack, which is really bulky and can be uncomfortable to sit on all of that stuff layered together so i figured i might just get a two for one and get the underwear and the pad all in one boom which of these these is really these are really comfortable and um i don't really mind wearing diapers so i got my baby diapers or my mommy diapers next thing i'm grabbing is these these are just jelly pads for my nipples so that they not um too tender because i haven't pumped or breastfed in um almost a year when i found out that i was pregnant uh sj was 10 months and i stopped because well my supply was starting to dry up anyway so i have not pumped in quite some time and I can only imagine that my nipples are going to be sore so I got these jelly pads it's two of them next thing I grabbed is my hygiene kit inside this hygiene kit I have a loofah baby oil which I probably will not use A couple of uh, nursing pads. I know my supply is not going to be coming in like crazy when I'm in the hospital. So I'm only taking one, two. Oh, I'm missing one. Okay, I'm only. I guess I'm only taking three. A set of three. I have my soap. This is Bath and Body Works Tea Tree and Peppermint Body Wash and Foam Bath. Um, just because I want to be able to relax a little bit while I'm there. Like, I'm not obviously going to be super duper relaxed. But I do want to be able to have some type of aromatherapy. And I want to be able to relax. So, that's why I pet this. My deodorant. I use Secret. Um, it has aluminum in it. So, don't kill me. But I use Secret. My toothbrush and toothpaste kit. My mouthwash. 
And finally, for the hygiene pack, finally, the star of them This is a peri bottle. Girl, if you about to have a baby, you need this. This one. Not the one the hospital gave you. You need this one. Because you fill this up with water. Look at that. And you flip it upside down. The perfect angle to rinse. The perfect angle to rinse. Um, I believe I got this one from Amazon as well. So whatever I got, if I can find the links, I'll leave the links down below. And so that you can get to it too. But child, you need this bad boy. This is a lifesaver. To still work in what I need for the bathroom and stuff, I pack a towel and shower slippers. Just because I don't want to be stepping on that shower floor and I need a towel to dry off. I'm also bringing a blanket for me because last time their blanket was pretty thin and um, it just wasn't all that comfortable. So I'm bringing my own blanket. I'm bringing this dress with me. This is what I believe I'm going to go home in. I believe. I haven't decided what I'm going to go home in. But I believe, hold on, I think I packed this to go home in. So, yeah, this is my going home outfit. Something really comfortable. Something that I can go to the bathroom in really easily. And realistically, the day that... While you're in the hospital, they're doing a lot of checks. They're checking you a lot. So, I just wanted to be easy access. There goes my who I check it. Can I go now? And <laughs> that's why I chose a dress. Next is another dress. But this is a nightgown. Again, you get checked pretty often while you're in the hospital. So, just make their lives a little easier. And I have this mom boss nightgown that I got from Rose's which is a discount store if you never heard of it. I got this from Roses, so it's really comfortable. Really easy and loose and freeing. I can whip out a, a nip when I need to, and I can lift it up when I need to. So easy access to everything that needs to be accessed in the hospital. Next, I have this nursing bra um, that I use with SJ. It is really comfortable. It gives the girls a little bit of support down here. If you can see, it's like cinched in. And then here, they are able to be free and breathe. And I really like these bras. I got these from Dollar General. I got like three or four packs of them. They come in a pack of two. And I got like three or four packs of them. So these things are beautifully comfortable. I even wore them um, after I was breast after I stopped breastfeeding with SJ if that makes sense or pumping with SJ but these bad boys are so comfortable I have my slippers to wear um which I actually need to take these out but these are the slippers that I plan on wearing into the hospital and out of the hospital they're really cute they're just Birkenstock knockoffs that I got from BJ's uh, I believe these are like a size 7 or so I don't know I can't tell you what size they are, but they're super duper comfortable. And when it's time to go in, I'll be throwing these bad boys on. When it's time to go out, I'll be throwing these bad boys on. Okay, maybe I lied. So this outfit is my going home outfit. I'm not too, I guess maybe when I was packing my bag, I wanted options. I don't know where my mind was when I was packing my bag and what the dress was for. But this is a pair of pants and this is a tank top one of those fitted tank tops so that way um it gives me space to reach my waist trainer and then i also have a cardigan just in case it gets cold i'm not too sure what i was doing with these outfits but i got two outfits this actually needs to be in the hygiene bag but chapstick Girl, I don't go nowhere without Carmex. I have Carmex literally everywhere. I have Carmex in the bedroom. I have Carmex in the bathroom. I have Carmex in the extra room. I have Carmex in the kitchen. I have Carmex in the living room. And I have Carmex in the car. I have Carmex in just about every bag that I own and almost every jacket. Because 
I do not like my lips to crack. I don't like them to be crusty. Like, the way they are now, they're not popping. But I'm perfectly fine with that. They're also not dry. So, with that being said, I just need my CarMax everywhere I go. And I only, I'm not going to say only, but I only purchase CarMax. If, like, Sloan's around and he has the ChapStick brand, and for whatever reason I don't have my CarMax, I'll use the ChapStick brand. But, um... I only purchase CarMax. The last thing that is in my hospital bag is my baby's cute little outfit. His cute little teeny tiny outfit. It's just a, a dinosaur, a green dinosaur outfit that matches his blanket that my cousin got made for him, which I will be showing you later on in the video when I release his name. Um, it's a cute little dinosaur zip up outfit. It comes with the teeny tiny the teeny tiny pants this cute short sleeve shirt it's a you know onesie this cute short sleeve onesies that says RAR and the jacket the size of this is 0 to 3 months but it's kind of tiny for 0 to 3 months so that's why I chose this to be his outfit plus I don't know if it'll be windy that day I don't know if it'll be raining whatever i just want to pack an outfit that can work for whatever the weather may be and he's a newborn so he needs to be covered up coming home from the hospital anyway and hospitals can get pretty cold so i just want to be prepared for that <laughs> and his little teeny tiny socks to go with it these are actually socks that sj had and i kept a lot of his stuff which i believe i told y'all before but <clears throat> these socks are so cute and so tiny like look look at that look how tiny now it's not the exact same green as the one I mean as the outfit but I don't really care as long as my baby is nice and toasty I don't really care okay Matt, I guess the next portion of this video is going to be me giving y'all a bump to oh, he moving now me giving y'all a bump update so today I am currently 36 weeks pregnant. I had a 36 week appointment to, you know, be swabbed to check my cervix. Um, I'm currently, my cervix is currently closed. I've been having contractions like crazy for the past two weeks or so. I've had three contractions um in an hour now they say don't they don't want to see you or they don't they're not stressing anything until you're having five contractions per hour but i've had three contractions with that that's the most i've had in one hour um about every other day every two, every three days or so and i get there and i'm so excited i'm like yes check the doctors like do you want to be checked i'm like yes check me girl like i want to know am i getting ready to have this baby next week or what and um nothing absolutely nothing which i was a little upset but at the same time you know he's gonna move at his own break by 38 weeks so in two weeks if i'm tired look we gotta get induced because i can't go through this no more literally my ankles are on fire all the time my back hurts all the time i'm tired of the random contractions no matter where i'm at they just pop up and um i think sj is ready for him to come out too because sj be beating on my stomach like like an ape so um and i'm ready to meet my baby i am ready to meet my baby i want him to be healthy but at the same time i'm tired of being pregnant you know i want him to come at his own rate but i'm tired so maybe 38 weeks i could talk to them to see what they could do about this big baby but that's neither here nor there i'm going to go ahead and show y'all what the belly looks like here's the belly at 36 weeks I know black makes everything look smaller, but I have on a dress, so it's only but so much I can show y'all. I'm pretty huge, and he's moving. 
I'm huge and I'm low. I'm huge and I'm low. As you can see. I'm tired. Like literally. So exhausted. Like my emotions is crazy. Um, I'm hungry that I'm not hungry. Sometimes I feel like I'm going to be sick. And I'm just, I can't tolerate nothing. Like my patience is so thin. It is so thin. Like when it's time to go put SJ down to sleep for the night, I don't have any patience. He be fighting it and everything like that. And I just be like, you're getting on my nerves. You really are getting on my nerves. But like, I know he's a baby, but at the same time, the way my emotions are worked out right now, it's just like, so do you want to fight? Do you want to fight? But that is what it is. It's all a part of the process. I'm not going to ramble anymore. And I'm just going to go ahead and release the name. This is the blanket that my cousin got made for us, which has his name on it. And baby boy number two name is... I gotta unroll it because it's a pretty big blanket. <laughs> Salem. His name is Salem and his nickname is Say Say. That's my baby's name. I think it's the cutest thing ever. Um, well, not the cutest name ever. I've had other names, but this is a name that we was able to agree on me and sloan was able to agree on sometimes here and there he tries to say you sure you want his name to be salem and i'm like yes that's the name i'm stuck on and that's the name i've been calling him for at least seven months so his name is salem but i love that name so much no not like salem witch trials no not like salem cigarettes but it's just salem which actually means peace and I found that out because my mother-in-law told me that. But I just like the name Salem just because I like the name Salem. It had nothing to do with, you know, anything behind it and meanings or anything like that. I just love Salem. It's just cute. But like I said, his, his outfit kind of matches this perfectly. Y'all see? Kind of matches it perfectly. So that's why I chose that outfit. Not all the outfits that we had. But now that y'all know his name, I feel like I'm not keeping a secret no more. I can say his name so freely. I can say it so freely. So freely. Salem, 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 Salem. Salem. I love that name so much. But I'm not going to talk no more because I'm tired and I need a nap. I'm going to take a nap with my baby, and I will catch you guys in the next video, whenever that is. So, peace. Just imagine I smack the camera, because I'm not crawling up there. When I get up there, I'm just going to press the button. So, just imagine I smacked it.